All right, hello. I'm Julo, and we're back on pirate. That's something. <laughs> and I'm on my musketeer solo and cane. I uh, I do this when I get bored. Just something I can do as a musketeer. Uh, there are ways to do it solo. <laughs> I already have Kane's Nightmare. I've done this 50 times, 53 to be exact. Uh, but first I'll show you exactly how I plan to do this. Solo. This is how. <laughs> Overwatch 5. So, basically Overwatch 5 knocks back enemies for those unaware. So, that's going to be really helpful. Uh, not the best starting hand. I guess I can just gunnery. May as well. So a lot of this is very dependent on RNG. Because if uh, the queen gets close enough to our team, she uses an assassin strike, which does upwards of 2,000 damage. So, you know, balanced game we have, right? Uh, additionally, the two marines can use their uh, vicious charges, and if that hits a melee unit, that melee unit can not hit anybody else. Like, they can try, but it's it's not going to happen. That's, that's spoilers. Uh, it doesn't look like the marines are getting near just yet. So now it's time to use the most crucial card of the game, the Blood Flames. Because Rook is not someone I can attack myself. Uh, Rook cannot be hit by ranged um, attacks. And he uses Swift Retribution on magic attacks like uh, Scratch. Trying to hit. So, you know, there's that. So, if Rook does get close enough to me, then. Uh, I'll just knock him back with the overwatch, but hopefully we don't get to that. Uh, he did walk into three flames, okay, so that's perfect. Right now, uh, one of the biggest threats is out of the picture. Another thing I have to worry about is if these marines get onto my side of the board, then um, they promote into queens. Which is uh, not that great. But, okay, the reason why I'm running Ratbeard as opposed to Chantal is because Chantal, if she starts popping off on Rook, uh, that's game over. And Ratbeard is just uh, the best defensive unit in the game. Uh, he's defensive on Twitter, he's defensive on game. Uh, he's just the best defensive unit currently in Pirate 101. And that's because I've put Hold the Line 3 and Repel Borders 3 on him. So that means if a Marine should walk past my Overwatch 5, uh, whether they, whether I'm out of charges or they just don't get knocked back, it's still okay. Because Ratbeard can just hold the line. And uh, I'll be fine. This run is actually going better than most of my runs do. Uh, usually by this point the queen will have a assassin striked one of my units and uh, speaking of that's probably about to happen but oh she actually didn't use her assassin strike she has two by the way uh, I found that out a couple days ago the queen has two assassin strikes but Toro has got it handled and that last marine is dead to one bomb maybe even one overwatch charge Deacon is still high on health, Bishop is still high on health, but I can I can have Scratch go after Bishop. Watching Scratch and Bishop go at it is really fun, I just want to say. But it may not even be necessary, because of these. <laughs> that's all I need to that's all I need to tell you, just because of these. Uh, Scratch versus Bishop, we'll go ahead and run that. And then Toro and Rapid really don't need to do anything. Oh yeah, Bishop is already dead. <laughs> but Scratch is now going after Deacon. Because Deacon is the highest on health. And Kane cannot die until 
uh, everybody else on the board is dead. You can get him low, but you can't kill him until... Yeah, it says he's immune from that. Ah, damn, okay. Return fire is fine. It does not matter to me. I've been farming this guy for the Bresciani loot, which is a ring that gives true grit and quick adjust. I currently have, I think, the Bresciani signet, which gives a quick adjust, but an agility buff, which is marginal. So, there's that. I could have probably sent Toro or Ratbeard after Deacon, but I think it's okay. I, I'm not taking any chances. I don't want Kane to roll through and just destroy one of my companions. I mean, Toro just took his first damage of the game. Uh, Scratch has not gotten hit. Uh, Toro just took his first damage last round. I took my damage a bit ago, but... Yeah, overall, this run's gone really, really well, surprisingly. Usually, they don't go off this well. But, uh, looks like it's going fine this time. Kane's on 29 health. He walks into one bomb and dies, so I'm not worried. But yeah, this is easily the best run I've ever done. This is the first run I've tried to record as well, so that's nice. Yeah, there you go. Kane soloed uh, because of Overwatch 5 and hold the line. Pretty much none of my companions or me got hit very much. I didn't even think any of them dropped below uh, 2k health. This is actually not bad. Um, I prefer the one that gives like health and armor, but this, this is an okay piece because it gives boon and hold the line. Well, that was a very fast run, and a very successful run at that. Uh, I can assure you, if you try and do this, um, even with Overwatch 5, it's not going to go this fast. Usually. You'll usually lose at least one unit, but otherwise your run should be fine. You can do it multiple times in a row as well. So, that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, long ending cutscene, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I don't know when I'll see you next, <laughs> but if I do see you again, it's definitely going to be on Pirate. So, there's that. But yeah, I'll see you hopefully again, and goodbye.